Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so today we're going to be checking out a British 12-hour ORP, or Operational Ration Pack. Now, 2011 was the first year of issue for this 12-hour ration. These rations were designed for troops that were going to be out on a 12-hour or less patrol. They were very well received in their first year of issue in 2011. The guys really did like the, uh, the concept of the 12-hour. Now, one main thing that makes these different from the other rations is these do contain a flameless ration heater. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, check this thing out. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, NIMS MRE actually sent this thing to me from all the way over in the UK. She had one of the first reviews of one of these up on YouTube. There will be a link to her channel down in my description and also one down in the comments. You guys go uh, check her channel out. Now, this one right here is a menu number six. Production date on it was December of 2011. Or actually, it might have been uh, October of 2011. I'm not sure. I think it was 12, though. But uh, there you have your Ministry of Defense symbol and DENS, 12-hour operational ration pack. Of course, up here it says it's the property of the Ministry of Defense. Unauthorized sale and or purchase is prohibited. Over here, MOD, authorized use only. Here on the side, we have some more stipulations about it being property of the MOD. And on the bottom right here, you have your range card, which puts your base right in the center there. And then you can mark other landmarks on the outside here. But yeah, so it's pretty cool to have a first year of issue being 2011. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and check it out. Now, while I'm opening this up, I should mention that... Uh, Nim sent these things over to Nathan's MRE, and Nathan actually sent this thing along to me. So you guys go check his channel out as well. If you haven't done that, I'll have a link to him also with Nim's channel in the description and also down in the comments. Let's see what's in here. Now this pack weighs just a little bit less than one kilogram, so it's more of a lightweight and uh, easy to eat option than a 24 hour ration. Right on top here, we have a pamphlet telling you how to use the flameless ration heater. Give you a quick look at that. Pause that if you want to check it out. And uh, they had to make sure to tell you that this is not to be eaten. <laughs> I don't know who would try to eat that, but I guess it happened. And first off, we've got a 50 gram pack of dark chocolate chip oat biscuits. We have a Slazenger Raspberry S1 sports drink. Here we have a Wahoo H2O orange and cranberry flavor. And here we have a Bridgeford Shelf Stable Sandwich Italian Marinara in bread. This should be quite interesting. And next up we have a Cherry Cranberry Power Bar. Here we got a pack of tissues or the British issued butt ration. We have another Wahoo H2O. This one is berry flavored. Apple Cinnamon Cereal Bar made by Orifo. We have a package of polos, which is, I guess, like lifesavers here in the U.S. We have a black currant beverage base powder. We've got a fruit and oat snack bar, 50 grams. A package of imperial salted peanuts. Here's our main meal, vegetarian tomato noodle. And orange beverage base powder. Here is the feedback and prize drawing entry form. And what is contained is your lunch, your main meal, your snacks your drinks, and your common components. And the last thing in the box, we have this great big bag that has our accessories in it. There's no brew kit with this, like there is in a 24 hour. We have a package of dental V6 gum. We have a spoon, four antibacterial alcohol-free wet wipes. A package of six aqua tabs for water purifying. And another baggie. They provide these baggies so the guys could throw most of the, uh, the bulk of the items into the bag and uh, throw it into their rucksack. Yeah, as you can see, these packs are made up mainly of foods that were easy stuff for them to eat while they're on the go. That was kind of the main purpose of these 12-hour rations. They seem to have worked out really well for the guys. They really were well received. They still make them to this day. All right, after looking at what's in here, I think uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make this into one meal. And we'll just go ahead and check everything out together. All right, I'm going to get this stuff put on the tray and I'll be right back. All right, so like I mentioned before, this one does come with a flameless ration heater. Now... The UK makes a whole lot of different kinds of ration, like the kosher halal meals. They make just vegetarian meals. They make Arctic meals. I'm going to throw some pictures of different types of rations that the Ministry of Defense makes for the troops. 
I'll just throw up as many pictures as I can real quick to show you guys the different ones that uh, that they're producing right now. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get this thing heating up. Just going to go ahead and slide this down in here. Place that pad right on the center. And you want to lift your contents up so you don't put too much water in. Go ahead and get that nice and saturated. Hopefully it still works. I'm going to put my Italian marinara sandwich right there on top of it. Well, unfortunately, I've given this thing about five minutes to take off. I don't know if you can hear it. It's popping and cracking a little bit. But All right, while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get some drinks put together. I'm going to make one of each of these. I'm going to make the uh, the berry, make the black currant, and I'll also make the Slazinger sports drink. Now, Steve told me a long time ago that this tastes very similar to the fruit soup, especially the raspberry. And I'm going to mix this with about half the water that it recommends. So I'm going to put about 250 milliliters of water to this and see what it tastes like. One other thing that I wanted to mention before I go and mix the drinks up. This says that it's to be diluted in 1,500 milliliters of water. I don't know if that's correct or not. That just seems like a lot of water. But uh, I'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. Oh, that smells amazing. I had the 250 milliliters to this. Oh, that smells really good too. This one says 375 milliliters of cold water. It's about a quarter of the powder. All right, before I open up all the food, I'll check out one of these antibacterial wipes. See if they're still holding their moisture, and they are. These things are really nice. They're almost like a cloth. Do some cleanup with these. Nice and tough. Don't have much of a scent. Your hands are nice and cleaned up, though. Definite plus to have, that's for sure. All right, we'll get these peanuts out of here. They smell kind of funny. Mm, yeah, they smell weird. Let's check out these dark chocolate chip oats. Biscuits. Oh, those still smell good. Now, everything is eight years old, so keep that in mind. Things from 2011. Looks like you get five of those biscuits. Check out the fruit and oat snack bar. Packaging doesn't usually help things hold up very well, so hopefully this held up. It still smells good. It looks good. My apple cinnamon cereal bar produced by Orifo. Orifo made a lot of stuff in the German rations for a long time. A lot of Orifo stuff in there. Now this thing smells amazing. It smells like apple pie. Really nice aroma coming off of that. Check out this power bar that is cherry cranberry, which is pretty interesting to me. I've never seen one of these before. Puts me in mind of the cran raspberry first strike bar. Kind of feels like a first strike bar in the package. And it does not look like one. Give it a smell. Okay. It doesn't really smell like uh, fruit or anything. It's really shiny. Check that out. Really sticky. And last but not least, we got uh, these mints we check out. Very similar looking to a lifesaver. All right. We're going to go ahead and check out our main. This is the vegetarian tomato noodle. Check it out. Looks like there's a bunch of beans in there. It's a tofu or textured vegetable protein, maybe. TVP. Here's your ingredients list. 
check out our shelf stable Italian marinara sandwich. Now that's on white bread. While it's still a little bit warm, we'll go ahead and check it out first. There you go. All right, here we go, down the hatch. Oh, that's not bad. The white bread is really nice and soft. It's got a slightly yeasty flavor. And uh, that marinara inside, it almost tastes like meat to me. It's uh, surely made to mimic meat. It's not bad. It's a little bit tangy and it's got a strong flavor of the marinara. Yeah, that little sandwich ain't bad. Nice little light lunch. Give this uh, Wahoo H2O water a try. You can see there's some floaties down there in the bottom. You give it a try. Well, that's pretty refreshing. I like that. It's just very lightly flavored. Berry flavor. It's a little bit tangy. Just slightly it's but it's very refreshing at the same time I really do like that but all right we're gonna move on to our main now and see what's going on with this I'm gonna try just one of these pieces of I'm gonna guess that's vegetable protein or tofu one or the other give it a try that doesn't taste bad um, this is actually vegetarian ham is what they're calling this and it does have a slight ham flavor to it I would say it's just very odd to my palate. Not something I'm used to. The texture's not bad. Kind of chewy. It's not bad. Then you got your beans in here. And also your noodles. Get a bite of everything together. Try it all together. You know, that's not bad. I would never think of putting beans with pasta like that. But it actually works. Without the beans, I think this would be, uh, be a lot more bland. The beans really add a lot of flavor. The marinara sauce that's in there is pretty tangy just kind of tastes like a canned marinara sauce it's pretty good i think i'm actually going to use a little bit of this bread one of the corners that doesn't have any filling to go along with this i think that'll work quite nicely kind of like a bread stick added in there like that i think i'm going to wash that down with this raspberry slazinger drink the sports drink Oh, that is bursting with flavor. That's got a really nice natural raspberry flavor. It's nice and sweet, tangy. That is probably my favorite drink that I've ever had out of a ration so far. Really nice. All right, next I'm going to try these peanuts. They kind of had a funny smell. I'm going to be rather cautious with these. These are supposed to be salted peanuts, and I'm going to just try this one peanut and see how it is. Uh, yeah, those are no good no more. They have my throat feeling weird. They have a very bitter aftertaste. Kind of gave me that rough feeling on my tongue. Those uh, are rancid. Those are rancid peanuts. They're not good. They taste awful. Alright, so this is one of the items that I'm most curious about. This is the Cherry Cranberry Power Bar. And I really just want to dig into this thing. But I'm going to be kind of cautious and just give it a little try you can see the cranberries in there give this little piece a try all right so this is kind of a weird one for me so initially when i first started chewing on it it kind of had a paint flavor but very quickly that went away and it seemed to taste normal like cranberry maybe a little hint of cherry in there it's not passing the smell test for me it initially whenever i first try it it tastes the way it smells kind of like paint and uh i'm not going to dig into that thing any further because i don't think it's very safe but just to be sure i'm going to have another i gotta have another try on it here give that a give that a bite i don't know it's, it's not too bad if you can get past that first initial very off-putting taste so i'm not really sure about that one this is another one i'm not too sure about now this one smells good it smells really nice this is the fruit and oats bar this is a 50 gram bar there's your cross section of that and give this one a try well surprisingly this one seems to have held up quite nicely this reminds me a lot of those quaker oat uh cereal bars kind of got a honey flavor to it it's sweet the fruit's nice and chewy in there. It gives a nice little tangy aftertaste. It's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and wash that down with this black currant drink. And give it a try. 
Mmm. That's really good. Tangy, really strong flavor of black currant. It's a really hard flavor to describe if you've never had it. It's one of those flavors we don't get here in the United States. Black currant was actually outlawed in the United States a long time ago for some reason. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a rare treat to have something like this. It's quite viscous. It's got a thickness to it that I didn't expect. It's really sweet and tangy. You can see it kind of coats the side of the glass right there. Yeah, that's a nice refreshing drink as well. All right, now we'll try this apple and cinnamon cereal bar. Let's look at that. Give it a try. Mmm, yeah, that's really good. This has a really nice chew to it. It's got a tangy apple and cinnamon flavor. The texture to it, I just really enjoy. It said it's really chewy, sweet, tangy. All those things wrapped up into one into a really nice breakfast cereal bar. All right, now we're going to try the dark chocolate Odie biscuits. I really wish I had a hot cup of tea or coffee to go along with these. That would really make these nice. But these ration packs are designed to be eaten quickly and on the go, so you really don't have time to stop for a hot cup of coffee or tea. All right, here we go. Boy, those are really good. They have a really nice chocolate flavor. That dark chocolate comes through them really nicely. It kind of just reminds me of a dark chocolate little oatmeal cookie. Really, really delicate little thing. Nice and crunchy. And it's not really, really sweet or anything. It's pretty lightly sweet. These are probably uh, in second place behind Biscuit's Fruit for me now. First time I've had these ones right here like this, but I really do like these. All right, after all that, I'm going to follow it up with one of these Polo Mints and uh, see how these things are. I've never had these before, so give it a try. Can bite right in. They're not too strong. Kind of expected a really hard hit of mint, but they're not too bad. Yeah, these are much more like a candy than a mint to me. Uh, I like the, the way the texture is. They got a nice sweetness to them. They are refreshing at the same time, which is a plus as well. Kind of freshen your breath up after your meal. So those are really nice. So the only thing I have left is the gum. And I am going to pass on the gum because I plan on finishing this meal right now. I think everybody knows what the gum's all about anyways. So all right, guys. This has been a first year production, 2011 British 12 hour ORP. And I want to say a huge thanks to everybody for taking time out of their day to watch the video. I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And right now is the time that I want to mention my patrons. You guys are great. There will already be a list of those up on your screen right now. If you guys want to go check out my Patreon page, there will be a link to that down in the description. And also one pops up at the end of every video. And I also want to say a huge thanks to NIMS MRE for sending this thing over and Nathan's MRE for sending it to me from NIM. And I'll also make a comment and pin it to the top that has both of their links in it so you guys go check them out. Also, real quick, I wanted to mention I do live streams every Saturday if you guys want to come and check those out. Do them at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a good time. You guys come and check it out. But all right, guys, I guess all I got left to do is say thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next ration review. Later.